Hello everyone, Jacketing here and welcome back to PHU Racing Lab where we are back on the 8.6 uh, episode 5 today and it's getting close to the end. Now there are a few things that we'll have to have to tidy up. This rear sway bar needs to be remounted. Now I got this white line adjustable sway bar but one of the OE brackets that's supposed to look like this ended up becoming like that. And uh, yeah, nah, it just bent. It just, it just too brittle and it broke after all these years so yeah we're waiting for some new parts to come that's why everything is loosened to be adjusted i did another full bolt check and then we put all the nice brackets back on it we fixed the coolant leak we fixed the vacuum leak and it, well yesterday well last time you saw it it ran and put down 152 horsepower which is absolutely glorious and lovely apparently as it turns out we set the rev, rev limiter too low not that it's making any more power up top but uh, my guys at Battle Garage told me, wait, why are you setting it to 7600? This thing from factory revs to 8250. Set that bitch to 8250, they said. So, okay, we're going to the moon. Um, it's not going to make any more power, obviously, because it peaks out at around 73, 74. But it's going to sound freaking awesome. And let's be honest, dude, this car isn't meant for going fast. Like, we got that one in the back there. This car is just for all of the noise, all of the enjoyment. And uh, that'll be what we're tackling today. Uh, and then, hood goes on, some stuff goes on, and this car will be ready to be street driven home. So, can't wait. The side skirt end caps are on also. I used some M6 hardware of assortments. Uh, they fit nice. The, the, this side is a little, little bit gappy. The other side looks better, um, but this car has pretty much drained me of all of my uh, M6 hardware. Um, anyway, looks good. That's really all I need to know, you know. Um, we're gonna now start on bleeding the brakes. Alex is taking off the rear tire. I'm grabbing the bleeder bottle and we'll get that done so this car has one less thing on the list. Final pieces of the puzzle finally arrived. We got the T3 rear sway bar drop mount. Drop mount link or thing, drop mount. So, that's how it goes. Alex is already putting one on the car. What's the other one? The stock one obviously uses the one side to kind of clip in the other side to bolt it. But as you know, the, the clips do break. So what this does is this is building in like a block but has this kind of like a chamfer thing. Not right. straight a chamfer, it's looking like a hook that you yeah. hook it in, tighten down the other side so it's stable. These two go in around the stock bushing and then boom. And then you can put your own bolts in. The one side is threaded, the other side goes to the oh, OE mount. Like, it kind of looks like has an offset too because the factory kind of ooh. it is indeed an offset Alex yeah, the it's factory kind of stays super face. here I know it is right, it has like a little offset it's a drop link pretty sure this is not the correct method but cool that looks fine it's not that low it's not that low as soon as the car is on the floor this is going to kind of go up yeah so that's cool I like it we've got the new technical tuning evolved uh, version of the Royal Center adjusters. So I have their old version on there, but this is the new fully adjustable version. So you could go these two all the way through to the shocks. It's a regular camera mode, uh, RCA mode, Royal Center adjuster mode. Then you can put this one through and then you put one through here and then the other one through there and the car's like doing one weird toe out and shit. That's, you know, that's your drifty mode, full Ackerman mode. And then you could put both of the bottom through here, but the top through here, and then that gives you like mad camber mode, and the mad camber mode is what we're going for with the track car. So now I got that camber. Here you go, friends. Um, well, it's very gold and shiny. Everything else is kind of dirt covered, but this is very shiny. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's pushing the actual shut casing and everything outwards, including the wheels and, and you know, hub and brake disc. Uh, but everything in regards to you know the actual this what is it the knuckle steering knuckle kind of looking yeah right? yeah this thing is the position between this and low control arm and the which is essentially the pivot rod. point yeah that hasn't changed that means the, tie, the, the the toe theoretically shouldn't be changed we're gonna double check it or it might be just test drive and figure that out but it doesn't look like it's changed we're gonna put it on the ground and figure it out and take a look and yeah because the axle for the front shock of rotation didn't change yeah and this relative to the axle didn't change yeah. so it should be okay should be okay so theoretically if the car was straight back then it should still be straight oh i, I think it is straight yeah. i didn't go off-roading with this too much good tuck it in yeah there we go look at that Oh, 
Okay, there is definitely a good amount of negative camber. Ooh, I can see camber now. Mm hmm. Because right now, look at that. Ah, it's complete again. It is actually complete again. Okay, so we did a stupid and completely forgot that, you know, you're not, even though this ITB really looks really cool, you're probably not supposed to run it all wide open all the time because, you know, you suck shit in there, water gets in there, bugs get in there, your, yeah, your ex girlfriend get in there. So, for the best of protection, we went to ITG for their uh, proper ITB filter thingy. Uh, we do need to put this base plate on first. Uh, so that means velocity co assist, the, the velocity stacks has to come off again, but it's okay We'll put the on velocity stacks over this and then this right on there and then BAM done if I want to run it open Just take it off you use your finger to make sure all the all the all the way around are like very well aligned they That's are how Alex fingers. Yes. Okay. Two fingers Please <laughs> Too much. <laughs> that is too much Technically officially the first drive. I mean brake. Oh brake is near too. I don't know how to drive manual anymore. Box a little bit. Actually. First drive, but mostly success. Yes. You kind of have to drive this car hard, otherwise it like doesn't like it. Nothing fall off yet. Nothing fall off yet. And we're still alive. <laughs> this car works. Oh god, the fan fell off. <laughs> the fan switch. No, because I, I, I jam paper into the fan switch so it stays on. They're right there. <laughs> but it works. 